This is the new HP Pavilion Plus 14 and this is aimed at people who want an all-rounder premium laptop for daily use, be it students or professionals. I mean, I was excited about this laptop because along with the usual specs and features, this has a couple of really interesting, unique features. So is this the laptop you should buy? Let's find out. See, looks-wise, this is as HP as it gets. You get the aluminum build all around, be the lid with the HP logo, the palm rest, or even the back. But the best thing about the design is that HP has managed to keep the laptop very portable. It has a very slim design that you can notice from the sides, and I like that it's the lightest pavilion laptop at 1.4 kgs. The hinge is also pretty solid, and it also lifts up the keyboard a bit when you put it to the max 150 degree angle. I also like that the lid opens with one hand, and there is this indentation to open the lid easily. This is good. As for the durability, there is some minor flex on the keyboard and also on the lid, but it's not a big deal if you ask me. Apart from that, it has a fingerprint scanner here that's very fast to unlock the laptop and it has a webcam that actually deserves to be called a front camera because it's a 5 megapixel sensor with noise reduction support in a world full of 720p webcams and some 1080p ones. This 5 megapixel sensor is great for video calls and this is capable of 1440p videos at 30 fps. Here's the 5 megapixel camera on the Pavilion Plus 14 in action and yeah, this is definitely an upgrade over usual webcams. The ports are good, the left has a 3.5mm jack, a fast USB-A port, micro SD reader and the right has two USB-C ports and I like that both of them support PD charging, display port and HP sleep and charge feature. There is also an HDMI port and another super speed USB-A port. The display is also very good for the price. The Pavilion Plus comes with a high-end 2.2K IPS panel. For starters, the 16 to 10 aspect ratio is a good plus as a lot of people find the extra vertical space handy. I also like the high 2.2K resolution, which means text and videos look crisp and clear without problems. The color accuracy is also good for things like photo editing and when it comes to brightness. 300 nits sounds kind of fine, but it honestly looks brighter than that even though this panel has a matte finish. But let me put it this way, the brightness is good enough to use when in outdoor locations like a Starbucks or the airport. Look, I think this display makes sense for an everyday laptop and if you're wondering about the multimedia angle, we tried some movies and shows on it and they look good on this panel. Special mention again to the colors. On the speakers front, there's a dual speaker setup tuned by Bang & Olufsen that I would rate as above average. I say that because unlike most speakers in thin and light laptops, the speakers here get loud, easily hitting 80 plus decibels. The audio does lack depth and sounds a little flat at times, but the clarity is good, so yeah, above average. So the design, the display, the speakers are mostly good in terms of what you expect from an everyday laptop, but what about the performance? We have the Core i5 variant of the laptop and it features the 12500H series processor. We all know that H series Intel processors are powerful and this chipset has 12 cores, 16 threads, a max clock speed of 4.5 GHz and the Iris XT graphics. Coupled with that is fast Gen 4 SSD. I mean, these are the speeds and yeah, this is good. The RAM is DDR4. I mean, I like that HP has put in 16 gigs of RAM, but DDR5 RAM would have been better to go with the fast Intel chips and a fast Gen 4 SSD. Anyway, as you can see in the back opened up, the RAM is not upgradable, but the storage can be upgraded to one TV. You can also see the thermals, two fans and two heat pipes. Now, if we talk about the day-to-day -day usage, the performance here is really good. If you're like me and your primary use case involves Chrome all day, text editing, watching videos a lot, first of all, you're not a good employee, but yeah, this will be great for you because there's no lag or stutter. Honestly, even if your use case involves things like Photoshop or more intense multitasking, the Pavilion Plus will handle that as well. I mean, to give you an idea, here are a number of Chrome tabs open, 4K videos playing, apps running in the background, and the performance is actually great. Here we are using Photoshop with multiple layers and edits, and it's all good. The benchmark is also pretty high, indicative of the power the H series Core i5 CPU brings. As for thermals, the laptop rarely goes into overdrive in day-to-day -day usage, so I did not really hear the fans and I did not notice any heating issues on the laptop. Now, the fans can be heard when running benchmarks, but mostly it's fine and very minimal. See, the performance here seems solid because even when you're just using Windows, the laptop is snappy, which is how it should be, but yeah, some of them aren't. There is Windows 11, obviously, and there are a lot of HP apps, including the very useful HP Quick Drop app, which you can install on your phone and then use this to transfer files between your phone and laptop very easily, share notes across devices and more. The laptop is also Alexa enabled, which is nice. Having said that, there are a lot of other third-party apps pre-installed, which is something I'm not a fan of. As for the rest of the basics, the keyboard looks a bit cramped and small, but it's actually good to use. See, there's good tactile feedback in the keys. The keycaps have a squared off shape, but if you touch type, you will like the experience here. The keyboard is also backlit, and I like that the light is pretty bright. I also like the unique keys here, like the emoji key or the special macro key to open HP apps. Although I do miss a camera on or button, especially when there's no physical shutter. The trackpad has a good size and is nice to use with its smooth surface. 
The battery is a 51 watt or 3 cell module and there's a 90 watt adapter in the box. Now battery life is an important factor in a thin and lightweight laptop and in our uses, the battery life lasted for almost 6 to 7 hours almost all the time, which is actually good. The USB-C charger is decently fast, it takes the laptop to 50% in an hour and 100% in around 2 hours. Connectivity wise, the laptop has Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 support. Let's talk about the pricing now. The HP Pavilion Plus 14 variant we have costs 74K and at this price, this is a laptop that brings a lot of premium and unique features. I mean, I like the sleek and lightweight design it brings. I like that it's powerful with an H series CPU combined with 512 GB of Gen 4 SSD, which shows in the consistent performance really. The RAM is also good enough at 16 GB, although I would have liked DDR5 RAM. Then there are the unique features like the 5 megapixel camera, the high resolution display, the useful software features like HP Quick Drop and Alexa. Overall, the HP Pavilion Plus 14 looks like an exciting option for anyone looking for an all rounder premium work laptop. But I want to know what you think of this. Comment down below. Also, make sure to hit like if you found this video useful and enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. The biggest problem of WhatsApp web is that anyone can see your chats, your personal photos, who you're talking to. And